So this is the instructional video on how to assemble a pencil. You need a couple of things, no matter what pencil. A small needle file, preferably rounded. A Pentel P200 series sharp pencil, or actually a Pentel Craft Gear 300 will work. And it has this style tip, which is nice pretty much only on the um, 12 millimeter grips. It's a little bit too big for the tens. And also, maybe one day I'll make some versions for the Arends series with sliding sleeves, but this is my favorite type of pencil. So that's what I built first. Okay, here we go. Um, so you need your needle file, your Pentel pencil, um, and an X-Acto knife is good. I wind some, uh, electrical tape around the knurling of this guy so it doesn't unscrew uh, and keeps my blade nice and tight for safety. And, um, of course, you'll need a 3D printed part, and there'll be other instructions on how to 3D print uh, all of the files that you can download for free on GitHub. So, this is a short version of a 10 millimeter knurled hex body classic drafting pencil. And, um, it's the same assembly as um, a long pencil. However, it's a little bit shorter, so we're going to trim the uh, mechanism inside the Pentel. So the first thing we're gonna do is disassemble it. Take the clip off, if you're gonna reuse the clip. I sometimes like a different clip, we'll look at those later. Take the tip off, and once the tip is off, you can drop the mechanism out of the body. We can put this body aside for now. Okay. Now we have this mechanism very quickly when you remove a print from the bed. I like to print them with a brim because they print like this and I don't want them to wobble and tip over and break. So I have to trim that out like this. Again, both in the short and the long versions, it's the same. And then you might break off some of this stuff, but usually I'll take that off with the clip. And then um, to make sure that it has really nice tolerances and not a wobbly eraser dock or um, clicker button, I make it so that you should just sand just a little bit and rotate through 360 degrees as you're sanding, pulling in one direction or pushing up. So here we go. Do you like that sound of sanding? Let's just listen to that. I've gone about 90 degrees through the barrel. and smooth. Let's blow it out. <laughs> and then sometimes there'll be a little bit of filament left in the tip there. I don't know if you can see it at home. It's just a little bit. And I'm going to just gently, without reaming at this hole, just gently pry it off. Maybe catch the end of it and rotate around once to break that loose fiber off in there. If it's there, it's not always there. And then sometimes I pass my needle file through like this, and I can just get it. And now I have a nice clean bore. Oh, yeah, all right. So we could, at this point, stick this guy through here. Right here to shorten it by that amount, 
diameter of this part of the lead holder is too fat to stick the cap on. So what we have to do is whittle it down just a little bit or sand it so that, that we can put that, uh, that step into the end of this to make the cap sit there. And so the piece I cut off, this little guy, is how far down the cap went on the, on the first uh, the original length. So I'm going to start here and let's see. I will start by marking the length of that little guy on this pencil by rotating it and just scoring with my knife. And then once I have that score, I'll just carefully shave off a little bit of this pencil. Slice and prosciutto. It is like uh, jamon iberico, thinly sliced with a tomato gelée.
I hope you like this video and it's helpful for you to um, print your own pencil at home and that you have a really nice time doing it and um, tag me on Instagram and Facebook and um, no, just, just in, tag me on Instagram.